guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. We are here with the longest running series from AFL Evolution on my channel, which is quite weird since we haven't done a career mode, obviously. Anyway, I was planning on putting this out on Friday, but I did realise that we do have a game on Thursday, and that is this game right here, the Geelong Cats versus the Port Adelaide Power. Simmons Stadium was actually evacuated today. Apparently it was just a false alarm, though, that I saw on Twitter. Anyway, guys, let's head right into it with the first simulation, and it is 17, 18, 120 to 18, 19, 127. AFL Evolution are tipping that the Port Adelaide Power will defeat the John Cats at home. Pretty interesting there. I don't think it'll happen. Here you can see that Stephen Mottop kicks four, Daniel Menzel kicks three, and Zach Smith kicks two. Jake Need, uh, Jared Pollack, and Aaron Young all end up with three goals as well. And Aaron Young also gets 20 disposals, so that's quite interesting. So, yeah, uh, Aaron Young, 20 disposal, highest disposal, get it in that game. Anyway, at the SCG on Friday night, the Sydney Swans versus the Hawthorne Hawks, and 12 11 83, it's defeated by 13 10 88. Hawthorne defeating the Sydney Swans away at the SCG. I don't personally think this will happen, but it could. Dean Towers kicks five goals, Isaac Heaney kicks two, and Tom Papley kicks two as well. Whereas Billy Hartung kicks four, Sorioli and Ricky Henderson kick three there as well. And you could see the major ball winners or highest disposal getters on the ground as well. Moving on to Saturday's game, we have the Doggies versus the Saints at uh, Etihad Stadium. I think this will be a really good game personally. I think it'll be really like fast pace and hopefully high scoring. I reckon it'll be an entertaining game. And AFL Evolution actually predicts a draw. 13-11-89 to 11-23-89. Uh, that is what they are tipping. That'll be a draw. Personally, no. It, it could happen. <laughs> I, I'm going with the doggies for this game though. But you know, AFL Evolution just has to go with their draws. Short Cramery and Tori Dixon with three, and Zane Cordy kicks two goals. And uh, Dylan Robertson, Nick Rewalt, and Jack Billings all kick two for the Saints. And you can see Jack Nunes there with 17 disposals. Obviously, the disposals aren't very high. I don't know why, but I don't know. I've put it on 20 minute quarters. I don't know. They should make it simulated quarters as well, because I swear the simulated quarters are 10 minutes. Like, they, you can do it on 2K. Anyway. Speaking of 2K, oh, I'm, I'm really thinking about making that second channel. Anyway, we have the Melbourne Demons versus the Gold Coast Suns here. Uh, who does AFL Evolution predict will win? 21-9, 135 to 16, 19, 115. The Melbourne Demons to beat the Gold Coast Suns. They can see Jeff Garlett to kick seven goals. Personally, no. <sighs> Jeff Garlett. Seven goals there for Evolution, like, well done. Yep. <laughs> Round of applause. Anyway, here we have the Richmond Tigers versus the Essendon Bombers. Dreamtime at the G. Who does A4 Evolution tip to win this game? And it is 9, 10, 64 to 7, 16, 58. The Richmond Tigers to beat the Essendon Bombers. A low scoring affair there for Dreamtime. Sean Greig kicking two, Jack Rewalt kicking two, and Trent Cotchin kicking one. Josh Green kicking two. Tom Bell Chambers kicking one and Joe Watson with one goal as well. And there you can you could also see the highest disposal getters on the ground. The Adelaide Crows versus the Frio Dockers. 18-7, 115 to 16-16, 112 at the Adelaide Oval. Uh, a three-point victory there for the Adelaide Crows with Tom Lynch kicking four goals. Nick Subin kicking four goals. Michael Walters kicking three. Obviously, the goals and all that are a bit messed up, as you guys will have seen by now, since um, there's, there's not a guarantee that half these players will play. Collingwood versus the Brizzy Lions at the MCG. And 11-10-76, 10-16-76. As always, we've got to get a few draws in there for Evo, and they have predicted this one will be a draw, so good on them. Um, and there you could see the highest disposal getters and goal kickers there. Didn't even have a look. Carlton versus the North Melbourne Kangaroos at Anyhad Stadium. Who do they predict slash tip to win this game? And 1913, 127 to 1918, 132. 
They are tipping the Kangaroos over the Blues with Robbie Tarrant kicking four, Lindsay Thomas kicking four, and Sean Higgins kicking three, and Paddy Cripps kicking three, and Levi Casbolt, I believe, also kicking three there, and Mark Murphy kicking two as well. So they've gone with the Kangaroos over the Blues. Who do you guys think will win these games? What are your tips? Do you think Evo's tips are realistic this week? Um... I don't know. Some of them have been halfway there. Oh, oh. Uh, some of them have been alright. Some of them, I don't believe they will. Uh, they will be correct. Anyway, guys, we have the West Coast Eagles versus the GWS Giants at Domain 13-13-91 to 13-9-87. The West Coast Eagles to win says A5 Evolution. This is a game I'm not too sure about, and the reason I haven't entered in my tips yet because I don't know about the Eagles and the Giants gonna have to make up my mind within the next half an hour though so yeah who do you guys think will win this game can you guys help me out a bit anyway guys hope you all have enjoyed this video do you think AFL Evolution's tips are realistic this round uh, they, I know they haven't been for pretty much the whole of the entire season but there you can see all the results that AFL Evolution are tipping for the week. And yeah, imagine if they got one of them right. Anyway, guys, hopefully you all have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to use the button and subscribe. I'm a king. You'll be until next time. Peace and have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.